I'm Sherry Boschert at the annual meeting of the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Dr. Tiffany Justice reported that placing an IUD immediately after delivery isn't practical because of a high rate of expulsion. We did this study because we noted that a significant portion of our patients never returned for uh, postpartum contraception. So uh, prior to doing the study, we just took an inventory and there was approximately 60% that never returned. So we were trying to find an option that was more convenient, more effective, and safe for patients for, uh, for postpartum contraception. We did a randomized controlled trial. Uh, we enrolled approximately, uh, we enrolled 66 patients. Um, what we were looking at, we had two study arms. One was an immediate postpartum placement of an intrauterine system, we actually used the Mirena IUD, um, versus a delayed or interval placement at six weeks postpartum or later. And what we looked at is um, after the patient was, was admitted in labor, we randomized them. And if they were obviously randomized to the immediate placement, um, they had an ultrasound guided placement within 10 minutes of placental delivery. Um, they had a repeat ultrasound before leaving the hospital to uh, ascertain if the IUD was in the correct position, and then again at, at approximately six weeks postpartum. Uh, the other folks in the delayed placement, they actually had um, standard follow-up, and then around six weeks postpartum or later, they had an IUD that was placed and had one follow-up visit for a string check. Um, what we found is that um, approximately 55% of our patients who were randomized to the immediate placement had um, an IUD that was expelled, um, which was significantly more than we had anticipated, um, compared to only 5% of the interval placement at six weeks or later. So there was a significant difference. Um, and, and what we actually concluded is that uh, in, unless a patient is extremely highly likely that she will not follow up for any kind of postpartum visit and contraception, um, then it's probably not a good idea for, for the, the routine follow follow-up patients. Um, it, in our indigent population, we actually will still consider doing this, um, but if you have a, a compliant, a likely compliant patient population, um, then that's probably not the best idea. Some of our patients who are, um, who are drop-ins, um, meaning they had zero prenatal care, and those are the patients that are not likely to follow up, they would be the ones that we would have uh, after the placenta was delivered if they wanted to do, um, to have a marine IUD for, for contraception, then we would consider placing it in those patients. Um, the other alternative, and actually some groups are, are looking at this right now, is um, another form of reversible long-term contraception called the Implanon, or actually Nexplanon is a, the latest version of it, um, which is, is placed with in the forearm, um, that that to me seems like potentially a better option, just because the com the complication rate of expulsion is is not an issue. Reporting for IMNG Medical Media, I'm Sherry Bosher.